Okay, we've just got this ewe here that's been straining for quite some time um, and she's not been making any progress. And if we have a look, you'll see that the little tongue is just coming out the side there and the head is stuck. There are two feet, which I just reached in with my fingers. They were, we thought it was just a head and we saw the, that little swollen tongue there. So what's happened basically is that the shoulders are stuck and even though she's trying her harder, she can't get the lambs out. So now that we've actually got feet, because I didn't think we had feet, it's going to be fairly straightforward. So um, Peggy, would you like to lamb her? Now that she's got, now that there are legs there, all we need to do is one at a time, grab hold of the legs and just give them a little jiggle as they come out. And once those shoulders pop out of the lamb, I'm sure there won't be any problems at all with her giving birth. So the two little white things are the hooves and then you've got the nose there. But it's just a bit, of, it's just a bit stuck. It's a good sized lamb. So I do one leg at a time in this situation. That's it, darling. That's it. And you'll, you'll feel, just keep pulling on the leg and you'll feel the shoulder sort of pop through the pelvis. It's quite tight, isn't it? Steady, girl. Steady. That's it. Yep, that's good. And then, steady, girl. The other one? Yep. Then if you hold on to that one and then grab the other one. Yep. it like I said because it's fairly big you might just have to jiggle it to be able to sort of that you can sort of feel when you get the shoulder through steady girl there and then it should just come out no problem then lovely there you are mum oh. there we are that's good now, an issue can be that the head, obviously, it's, is swollen. You can see the tongue is swollen. The head's a bit puffy. But because we didn't, you know, we spotted it nice and early, we'll be able to, um, the swelling should go down fairly quickly. Um, I mean, the tongue's already inside the mouth, even though it's swollen. So it might have trouble sucking for the first hour or so. But I, I think it's going to be just fine. Oh, good. It's done lots of sneezes, even on its own. Yeah, that's brilliant. Excellent. Oh, here you go. Do you want to put that one next to mum's face then? And she can have a little lick for a minute before we move her to a pen. There you are. What a big lamb. And you've got another one inside of you. Goodness me. No wonder you were stuck. You were trying so hard. You know, and perhaps if we didn't just help jiggle it, eventually she would have got there. But the thing is that that lamb's head would have continued to get more swollen and then it would be even longer before it would be able to drink once it's born. Um, and the mum just gets tighter and tighter and then they can become quite disinterested in their lamb once it's born. So, you know, for a simple little intervention, we didn't even really have to put our hands inside. We just did a little jiggle and, um, you know, we've prevented issues with suckling and for the, the bonding and stress with the mother. So it's a great result.